Huntsville wakes up to Brian and Tracy. Keith Urban messed up his me. That's his uh, latest song right there on the K Sam Wake Up Morning Show. Okay, Huntsville Hornet fans, the goal this year is to fill up the HISD Stadium for every single home game this year. Uh, because, as you remember, last year we we kind of missed half the season because the construction was just not quite there. Now well, it's ready. We have a full season of home games now. In fact, there's going to be six home games this season, and so we want to we want Hornet Nation to fill up that stadium and and just have it rocking at every home game this year. So your season tickets are available right now. Get over to our website. And get those tickets lined up right now. Yeah, go to ksam1017.com and sting them on it. Brett Young on 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. Hello, Carlos Zimmerman with you on the Midday Show. Got your weather forecast coming up. Low cash and Post Malone on the way as well. Well, there's a promo video out for a new product called Friend. That blew up on social media this weekend. It's a virtual companion you wear like a necklace. The pendant has a built-in microphone that listens and responds to whatever you say. People are mostly mocking it for being dystopian and weird, but some people actually like the idea. One person said it's like a Tamagotchi, you know those virtual pets from the 90s? But they called it a Tamagotchi with a soul. It's always listening and tosses out comments when it wants to, but it can't totally replace real friends yet because it doesn't talk. It only responds via text. Because that's such a 2024 thing to do. But wow. 99 bucks for an AI companion. Now I'll stick to my friends. Tim McGraw, she never lets it go to her heart. 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. You are listening to 90s at noon. Got your weather forecast coming up. Tracy Bird and Billy Dean are on the way as well this hour of 90s country. All right, I don't have a food story for you here in your lunch hour, but I do have this. But we need to face the music. We're all becoming our parents, whether we like it or not. In a new poll, 27% of Americans say they're worried they're becoming their parents. And the average person who first realizes they act like their parents at 30 years old. It's creeping up on me. The survey also asked which travel habits people are worried they picked up from their parents. And the top five were this. Getting to the airport way too early. Forgetting something at home. Wanting to find the gate at the airport before doing anything else. Going to the bathroom right before or during flight boarding. And making friends at the airport. It basically, basically, it's... it's uh, yeah, it's that. A lot of airport stuff. <laughs> Keith Urban and Messed Up is Me on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Glenn Edwards. Your forecast is coming right up. Well, I'll tell you what. Team USA added eight more medals at the Olympics yesterday. We also still are tied with China in gold at 21 each. Valerie Allman won her second gold in a row in the women's discus. China took second in that one. We also won silver in men's pole vault, mixed skate shooting, and the mixed triathlon relay. Uh, and Simone Biles had to settle for sil- uh, silver on the women's floor. Yeah, she had a chance to medal on the balance beam to get the gold medal, but she fell during her routine. So that's a wrap for her on the 2024 Olympics and maybe her Olympic career. Uh, someone asked her just the other day, hey, you're going to be back in 2028. Her response was, you know, never say never, but I'm getting really old for a gymnast. She'll be 31 by then. Yeah. So she's got 11 career medals and leave her tied for the second most all-time among female gymnasts. After day number 10 of the Olympics, Team USA still leads overall with 79 medals. China uh, distant second at 53.